بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سبجیکٹ سائنس گریڈ فائف چیپٹر نمبر سکس پروٹیکٹنگ ایرتھ ریسورسز لیسن نمبر سکس فوسلز اینڈ انرجی ٹو ڈیز پیج پیج نمبر تھری ہنڈر ٹوینٹی ایٹ اوکیبری ریلیٹیو ایج ایبسولوٹ ایج ایرا دیز ورڈس انشاء اللہ وی ول ڈسکس ون بائی ون آل آف دیم How old are fossils and fossil fuel? For the answer of this question, we will take the help of a law named as law of superposition. Each layer of rock is older than the layer above it and younger than the layer below it. Like this layer, it's the second position here that shows you that it's the young one as compared to the upper layer or the upper layer is the youngest one as compared to the down one as you move from again from this upper to the down one it's the old one as compared to the upper one or if you compare like the position of this upper and the down one so we know that it's the youngest one and this one is the oldest one very easy to understand if the layer come first will be the young one or the youngest one and if you go more deeper and deeper it will be the old and oldest relative age if fossil in top layer for example this is the youngest layer or the upper layer if a fossil is present here and other layer lower the relative age of the fossil in lower layer older than the fossil in the higher layer for example if a fossil is present here it mean it youngest layer the fossils also become youngest and if the fossil is present and the under this layer here or here it's 100 percent understood that it become the oldest one easily you can here see this the layers present in the rock and their color is also changed from one layer to another as you move from up to down you can see that the change in color easily identifiable absolute age the age of fossil in layers to find absolute age of fossil find absolute age of the rock in relative age we just know that young and old only there is no time period between them we didn't mention actual time here but in absolute age we should know that this almost 595 510 between this all the time period here and if you see this area of the rock here 510 to 520 this a time period in this part of the rock and in this layer 520 to 525 so in absolute age the age of soil in years so we find the age of soil or layers in years how old a rock if you want to know the age of a rock how can you identify rocks contain different elements elements change into other elements in predictable way these rocks that have specific type of elements in them so if we know the elements and their changing time period how an element convert from one to another then we can easily identify or measure the age of rock for example element a change into element b for example any element we just discuss here over time here you can easily uh, see that different types of colors of a rock that present in this sample so it's mean this element is different for that one and this is different for that one or it's might be possible they convert or change from one element to another over a time half life time takes for the amount of an element cut in half is elements half life here we will study an example of uranium it's an element the reaction is radioactive element it convert in to pb lead the 50% of the uranium convert into lead by the time period of its 50% conversion so the half life 
of here you can easily understand in which it's 50 percent in convert into another element like here uranium convert after its half-life or 50 percent into lead pp unit of time measured in millions of years history of earth about 4.6 billion years ago thanks for watching